All right, Garrett Reinhardt here as Chapin gets ready to practice in preparation for Dreer. First of all, Garrett, congratulations in your 57 to 22 win over LR you, sir. last Thank week. You you, uh, you had a remarkable game, and you're a, a CC's Pizza Chapin Athlete of the right. Week. Thank you. Going down the uh, stats, you had seven total tackles, you had four tackles for loss, a sack, and you caused two fumbles. And coach was telling me because they were throwing the ball the entire second half playing catch up, he said you probably would have had 20 tackles the way you're playing. Uh, uh, the game, the game of the year for you, or just another outing? Uh, uh, I think it was. I think uh, we all had a pretty good game. Um, I tried to make the best of the situation, uh, being that they passed a lot, so didn't get too many opportunities to make um, uh, very many tackles, but. Whenever I could, I tried to, you know, get out on the edge as fast as I could and help out the, the secondary. You know, this offense, for good reason, gets so much publicity. Does that does that kind of give you guys a little extra motivation to show that, hey, we play a little well, defense I, I here too? It, I think it does. <laughs> uh, yeah, um, our offense is wonderful, and the things they do are catching people's attention. So. You know, a defense, we kind of we kind of like try to hold our own and try to get a pu little bit of publicity ourselves. You've got a Dreer team coming in here that uh, is averaging 37 a game. Y'all are averaging 44, but obviously they're very explosive. They run the ball very well. Have a really really outstanding quarterback and Avery Armstrong. Give us a little uh, give us a little uh, scouting report on what you guys are doing to prepare for them right. and what you're expecting. All right, yes, sir. Um, I think. This game could probably be one that could come down to defensive stops and special teams. So there's no doubt that the offenses are going to produce and score points. So it's going to be up to us and special teams to kind of maybe add a little extra edge and maybe put some points on the board that uh, could be really crucial. Now here we are in the, the third week of region play and going into the third week and the third game. And you, Andrea, are the only two undefeated teams left, both at 2 yes, and 0. So whoever wins this game is obviously going to be in the driver's seat to win Most the region. Definitely. And yes, that's got to be something that, you know, that's part of the equation that you realize that your goal being a first to win a region title before yes, you move on, that you got to have this one. Yes, sir. Um, I, it's definitely been in, a, it's been in the forefront this week, and we know that we got to work our hardest to do the best we can because this game is probably going to be one of our biggest and, and a victory in this game could mean um, a position in the driver's seat, like you said, to be uh, forefront in the region. I know you guys have got a great fan base and a great oh, student. Yes, a yes, student, sir. Your student section is amazing. Uh, how are the kids around school this week? Um, they're all they're just as excited as we are. They're excited to you know get back in the stands at home and kind of get everybody back in the stands and have a, a great night. Everybody's going to be pretty hyped out here, aren't they? Yes, sir, they are. It's no going to be the place to be on Friday night. Yes, sir. All right. Uh, thanks a lot, Garrett. And again, congratulations. You're the CC's Pizza Chapin Athlete of the Week. Good Thank luck on much. Friday, buddy. Thank you.